For those of you that don't know me, I'm Dale Planica. I am the father of the bride. And I have the job of introducing the bridal party, so bear with me. Generally, there's just a certain amount of things that we need to photograph during the reception. Grand entrance, toasts, cake cutting. Ideally, I think if I could shoot weddings the way I wanted to, I would shoot everything from getting ready to decor, and then I would leave and let my second shooter shoot the reception. Generally, one of us will shoot one angle, one of us will shoot another. So it's just try to get two different looks during the grand entrance. Shooting available light is basically shooting it how everyone sees it and how everyone experienced it. So I don't shoot that much flash at my receptions now because I want to be able to give that sensation and that feeling in my images. Lift your glasses and toast future memories. Yeah. 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 During toasts, one of us will shoot reaction and one of us will shoot the toast. I'm usually the one that shoots the person speaking and then I move to reactions. I want to make sure I get one good image of the person toasting. I try to be very stealth as possible. I take the picture and then I get off the floor. Then the next thing, of course, is first dance. That's usually, you know, happens right away. So I want emotion towards the end of the first dance. I'll take a nice portrait of them dancing. So that's sort of how I approach that. I say that it's a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill. Obviously anticipating the moment, but lucky enough to catch an image like this, you know, that they absolutely love. In this particular wedding, we didn't have a cake cutting, actually. There was a groom's cake that was shaped like a giant hamburger, and she did that for him as a surprise. Of course, you would probably shoot that, but I always try to ask those things ahead of time, like during your reception, are there any surprises? Fireworks, special guests, those type of things. It's your job to know that and to know when it's going to happen. This might be one of the times of the day where I put a flash on my camera. I shoot it with a wide lens, probably a 16 to 35, and I put it on autofocus so everything's on auto. You know, maybe my exposure is manual. I sort of mess with my flash exposure sometimes. I might be plus a third, minus a third on my flash. I always try to shoot a 30th or a 15th of a second to make sure that I absorb some of that ambient light in the room. It makes the pictures a lot prettier than if you're shooting at 125th and your background is just black. Let's be honest, receptions can be boring. It's not the most creative photography. So a lot of the times I'm trying to find different ways to show things and shoot things and entertain myself and get images that I may not if I didn't try that. And then one of the things that I like to do sometimes is a closing shot. At this particular wedding, you know, it's still raining. I kind of went back to the whole glass theme. There was pretty purple lights and I wanted to kind of shoot a shot of my couple. Senna as a closer shot, the same thing with the dots on the window. 